It's not the fact that a person cannot honor your emotions. I guarantee you that's not the problem at all. It's the fact that you want your disorderly behavior to be honored as well. Baby, you have the right to feel how it is that you want to feel, but at a certain age and stage of life, you should be able to regulate and manage your emotions as well as the behaviors that are attached to those emotions and those feelings. Because I'm angry, disappointed, or upset, or frustrated, I have to make everybody else feel like crap. I have to shift my environment. I have to act a fool and curse people out and yell and walk off and storm off. Your emotions and feelings do not take precedence over the environment that you're creating and the feelings and emotions that you are altering in other people. These type of people who do this are the main ones who say, you're invalidating me. I'm not invalidating your feelings because you have the right to feel how it is that you feel. I'm invalidating your behaviors because there's nothing rational about your behaviors. I'm not trying to understand why you are throwing stuff and cursing people out and things like that. I don't have to understand that. You want a person quote unquote invalidating you to be an excuse as to the reason why you're acting a certain way. Because I don't feel heard, because I don't feel understood, because I want somebody to hear me, because I want somebody to understand me, I'm going to act the ass. If you reflect on your past, I guarantee you this is not the first time that someone tried to hold you accountable for your behaviors or made you see how unruly and disorderly you actually are. Some of you all don't have the right people to hold you accountable because some of you all are dealing with some passive people who just write off your behaviors as this is just this person. This is just how he or she is. No, absolutely not. You're proud of the reason why you've lost friendships, partnerships, relationships, why people don't want to deal with you. Maybe you need to sit down and actually self-reflect. Self-reflection and self-awareness leads to self-improvement. But if you're not willing to be called out and call yourself out on your behaviors, there's no self-improvement that you're actually going to gain. You're going to be stuck in that same place, playing victim, trying to figure out why everyone's leaving you. You may not want to hear this, but you're probably the reason why most people don't want to deal with you. And until you learn that, you're going to be caught in the same situation.